afternoon. Got my keys on me. We've been doing laundry. Final day of this can't go to work scenario. The thirtieth day off today. Oof. It's a little gray out there. A little damp. It was raining a bit ago. I haven't even been out in the garage yet today. Get the door chained open. We did a little bit of cleanup out here last night, not crazy. Played around with uh, the rust converter. Now when I pulled the drum brakes off that axle that came out of this car, you know, I threw all the springs and whatnot away, but just I kept this stuff, the, the, the levers, and I threw them in the rust converter, the uh, Evapo rust. Well, they came out nice. And I'm glad that I did because I'm going to have to go back to using those brakes. So there's, uh, there's that rusty antenna spring. It's still got water in it. They're so tightly wound that water gets on the inside and rusts out. So. I was having to, I can't do it one handed, but I was having to try to pry the springs and get the water to drain out. It's been sitting on top of the car here and we've got a little puddle going. Let's get her to run off the side there a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's a little cool out here. 13 Celsius. We've done that number a few times. What's that? It says it's right at 50, 51 degrees. I slept good last night, but I woke up early, early, early this morning. I had kicked the covers off, and it was cool. I don't have any heat on in the house right now. My back is really tight today, so we're not going to get into too much crazy stuff. I tried stretching things out, but it's just not warming up enough, so I got an extra layer on today just, just to try to help a little bit. Weather is supposed to dry out around 2 o'clock. Sun might even come out a little bit this afternoon. And rain again tomorrow. No, sunny tomorrow. Rain Saturday. Sunday's looking halfway decent. So, back to work tomorrow. Not quite 26 hours from now. I'll probably be leaving my house. But, uh, yeah. Standard eight-hour shift, no overtime. I don't do weekends anyway with my job, but uh, I don't know if there's going to be any weekend overtime with the folks that build the airplane, actually turn the wrenches. But I'm sure that'll be one of the complaints. Why are they making us come in for overtime in this situation? We need to be spending more time at home, and then why aren't they opening up overtime? Because, you know, we need to make more money. I got a big check, or big payout this morning from unemployment, and I'm a little concerned because I shouldn't have gotten that much. And tried getting a hold of them, but of course the lines are all backed up. A $2,500 payment. That's not... No. <laughs> Something got screwed up there. So I took all that and I set it off into a separate account just so it doesn't get used for my auto bill pay and whatnot. And it's like, eh, it doesn't know. Something's not right there. I hate it when stuff like that happens because then they're going to come after me and say, hey, we need that money back now. Oh, and we're going to charge you interest for it. So I'll just have to try to keep reaching out to them. But So, oh, Jeff sent me a note last night, Mr. Rambling Around. You know, you're just checking in, making sure you're not drawing faces on volleyballs and, you know, talking to them. He says, well, no, I don't have a volleyball. That's not going to happen. But uh, we do have a Wilson, too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, that was a funny comment, so I just said, come on, do that. He's going to sit right up here. Watching over 
service, a little crooked smile and everything. So we have our Corona version of Wilson now. Between that and where did I put it? Our social distancing meter. Set them both up there. Yeah, we're just going to kind of putter and tinker. I do want to try to get that other radiator support out of the shed, which means I'm going to have to pull the ATV out, but no big deal there. Pull it out, let it run again for a while. I want to get that thing out and do a comparison between it and the one that's in the back of the pickup. And find the better of the two, which is going to be the one that's in the back of the truck. <laughs> And um, pull some parts off, rebuild what I need to, because the one that's in the car now, pretty sure that's rotten right around where the battery goes. I think the one that's in the truck, I know it's bent right in the front section, but that can be straightened. Yeah, we're missing the two upper bolts too, but. Those are pretty common GM bolts. I've probably got some floating around. That one's loose. But yeah, I just need to straighten that out. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to paint this. We may just use it the way it is. It's still solid. There's surface rust, except for over here. There's two bolts. I think that's part of the battery tray, possibly. Uh, yeah, get those out. There's some plastic bits on that one that need to be removed. Old headlight retainers and whatnot. So I think that's the one that's going to end up going back on this car. <coughs> so looked at my uh, front sway bar. It's supposed to ship the fourth of May. It was the fifteenth of May just the other day. Ordered a little bit more sheet metal, which you'll see. I haven't put that video up yet, but one of those is on back order. I don't have a shipping date for that yet. The other piece is in stock and ready to go. Also ordered up the right bump stops for the rear axle. Just a couple of bucks, just threw them on the order. And what else? There was uh, something else on. Oh, the adjuster links for the tie rod ends, those ship the 27th of this month now. So that's in, what, four days, early next week. And then the tie rod ends, I think, are still supposed to ship on the 15th of next month. Or the 20, no, late next month. I think they got pushed back. So, it's going to be a month or so before we can even finish up the, the steering bits on that car, unfortunately. So, as far as uh, everything else, you know, we just need to start thinking about body work, getting the floors squared away. We want the basic structure good and solid before we swap the frames and everything else I can probably do here. Kind of the goal is to get it running and moving, not, I mean, driving, and then get it back here. And then I can tinker with it and putter with it and learn and but you know like rust in the quarters and whatnot that's that's not going to keep the car from driving down the road and then figure out how to jockey two cars around because that's going to fill this garage up really fast but that's not going to be for a little bit yet but at least that one have it where it'll start and I can pull it out and work on this one when the time comes and or if I need the space that's going to be full or maybe this one will go out to Kevin's for a little bit tinker and putter with it yeah the other car no power brakes no vinyl roof green on green 
was supreme this one here was built it was January or February of 70 this one was built I think December of 69 this one was triple black had the vinyl top has power brakes so this one had a few options on her but uh, either one I don't think was an air conditioning car I don't think so can't see the heater controls from here very well a little too dark so anywho I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna get to rolling on some stuff and uh, even do a little bit of work on that GMC model there and get that rolling so okie dokie we'll bring you back when we got something exciting to show can't see him but that sounds like an 8.7 up above the cloud somewhere. That sounds like it's coming from over here. Almost sounds like the rats deployed. Doing their testing. Sun's starting to come out. Check the mail. Oh, I got a little spider buddy hanging off my, my hat here. All the little spider creepy crawlies are hatching and coming out now. Good stuff. Yeah, I just shut the camera off at that last little segment. I heard the plane flying. I thought, ah, let's see if we can catch them, but too many clouds. No idea where he's at. Too bright looking up that that high. Eyes are watering now from all the brightness. But the sun's starting to come out. It's going to burn some of this stuff off. Put a charge on those little solar lights there in the front yard and have at her. So good stuff. Woo We're plucking away at a few things. We're just back inside for a little bit, reading through some comments. I goofed on yesterday's video. I uh, was sitting there in the truck waiting to uh, hear back from the vet. Hear back from the vet when they called. I said my phone number. So, <laughs> thank you for those that pointed that out. So I'm. Uh, I've deleted that copy. I'll be reposting that video with that section just blanked out. Luckily, everything was still uploaded into the editor. I didn't clear it out last night, so just went back into it and just muted that portion. Oops. So, yeah, some good comments. My aunt left a note about my cousin's cat that's borderline diabetic and one of the other guys, such a JR63, changed the food. And uh, we did talk that at the vet. I need to look into that a little bit more. They've got food that's available, but I'm going to do a little bit of research on my own and then see what they have available. But uh, I do leave dry food out for all of them, and I think that's going to have to go away. I think we'll just go to a morning and evening feeding time. Because both Belle and Cuda, the gray cats, need to lose a little bit of weight. And the black cat needs to gain a little weight. So, should be getting her own special food. Higher protein, higher calories. So, have to change their feeding habits a little bit. But such is the life of having three older cats. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, cloud cover's blowing back in now. Temperature dropped a couple of degrees, I think. Something's blowing through the front or something, but yeah, it's looking a little brighter over there to the to the west. About ready to head out to the shed and pull the Polaris out and look into the that other rad support. What a mess too much junk and all of this is going to have to get cleaned up 
if I decide to bring another car in here, which means that that thing can't stay there, it's going to have to get partially disassembled. But I need to make some room over there. If I had room over there, I could put it. But actually, the whole car could shift that way a little bit. What a mess. I got too much stuff and too little space. Alrighty, let me get back to doing some stuff. 2.17 in the afternoon. We got the uh, core support out. The center section, I can't tell from here, I may have been bent at one time. Might just be the way the light's reflecting off it too, I don't know. But, uh, that's the top side, you can see somebody spray painted it blue. raining so we're not going to go out and take a look at it but once it uh, clears up a little bit I'll go and do a comparison between it and the other one bit me a little bit but took a little skin off bleeding stopped it just stings a little bit I'll go and wash that off but, uh, yeah pulled the Polaris out fired right up dug this thing out and I got space underneath the shelves in the shed that I need to go through and just look at stuff that might not need to be in the garage. You can go out in the shed for longer term storage before it gets ultimately thrown away. But uh, not going to do that right now. Just keep in the back of my mind that I got some space out there. So, because I'm going to go between these two, which I need hardware off the blue one to finish up the one that's in the back of the truck, which is going to be the good one that's going to go on this car, ultimately. And then uh, we'll take all the good parts off, catalog them, save them in case we need them down the road, especially all the hardware. I'm not going to really catalog them, we'll just throw them all in a big pile. And then uh, whatever's left, because that one's pretty crusty on that battery side, we'll just chop it up and get rid of it. It's raining pretty good out there. Saw the dark clouds coming through. Got one headlight retainer. I call it a bucket or what, but it's got an old T3 in it. Wonder if I got enough T3s to make a full set. So actually those are kind of the bolts that I need anyway. They may be a little short. Uh, yeah, we got some good parts. Mixing and matching. Ooh, sweating. Too many layers on now. Back still a little stiff and sore. Got a pair of horns. I think those came off the support that's out at Kevin's place now. I should say this is. H for high, and this one's probably L for low. I can't read it. It's all either worn off or looks like an L on there. Cool. Alrighty, I'm gonna go wash this wound out. It's bleeding a little bit still. And uh, go scrap a layer of clothing here because it's getting a little warm up to 16 Celsius. It's at 55, 56 degrees. Temperature shooting up like a rocket. I think it's only supposed to hit about 58 today. Moved one of my uh, fancy lights. As these, whatchamacallits grow, they're going to start causing more shade. So let's get this one up and out of the way. That one will have to figure out what to do with it. Maybe we'll put it over on this corner. Raining. Not too bad over that way. That's where the clouds are blowing. Looks like they're coming from the other side of the garage. Yeah, down that way. Looks like it'll be lightening up here shortly. Oh. 
survive. Woo we've been playing. So here's the tub for the little S15. I got it. Still got a little bit of a rock to it. Might be going back the way it was. It wasn't that bad a second ago. I got the heat gun out. Yeah, I think it's as it's cooling, it's getting worse. I have to do that again. I had it pretty flat, but like I say, it's, that rock is coming back. And that's not a perfectly flat chunk of material there either. Yeah. I have to play with that a little bit more. Got the core support out of the shed. That headlight's junk, it's cracked, it's just a Wagner halogen. What we got on this side? Wagner halogen G high beam with a rock chip in it. So, like I was saying, this one's pretty well shot. This is where the battery's at. So, this one is junk. But, we got a couple of good buckets. Because that one doesn't have any. There's a little tweaked on the corner there, too. We've got a good center section. This one's bent. And, uh, I don't know if this top piece is removable. I don't think it is. I think it's just kind of pinch welded together. Set of horns. <coughs> I think that possibly can save it. It's all plastic. One of the fender bumper mounts there. But yeah. I mean, this one's no perfect piece, but a bit more solid so that'll work for what I intend with the other car. So then we're gonna start stripping down and swapping over. In the meantime I'm gonna play with that little tub just a little bit more see if I can't get that to straighten out a little more heat. Okay, we heated her up again. This is one of the plates from the press. And, uh, so it should be fairly flat. There's no rocking back and forth. I think we're pretty solid. So we should be able to start gluing things back into this little guy. Progress! Woohoo! Took it a little bit warmer than I would have wanted to, but I don't see any damage under there, so we didn't melt anything. But straighten her out. Good stuff. Ooh, boy, exciting day. The last day of the shutdown. Just doing a whole bunch of laundry. Should have... Uh, Thought about going to the grocery store because I got nothing for lunch tomorrow. I do have a salad. I have to check the date on it. And I don't know if tomorrow's going to be a regular teriyaki Friday. I have to see if I can track down my teriyaki buddy at work tomorrow. So I don't have a, any contact information for folks outside of, of work. So I haven't been in contact with anybody. So, well, one, Michael. If he's even watching this, let me know if you are. <laughs> but uh, that was just for the first day or so. Kind of funny, he likes to do the texting thing and he sent me messages to my phone, but I don't pay attention to my phone. I'm anti-cell phone, I hate the damn things. So I never carry it, but I usually have it on. 
when I remember to. And I was sitting at the desk the first couple of days, and it's like something keeps dinging. What is that? Never even thought to look at the phone, because that's how disconnected I am, and I like it that way. So, yeah, we got laundry going, playing around on the internet's a little bit, out here playing with those, whatchamacallits, radiator supports. I got most of the stuff swapped over. Well, the center section. Buckets out, pulled the horns off. I thought these were for a generator we got in the shed, but they're actually radiator side supports. So I need to go grab those. I've only got three, four, well, I don't know if there's any on the other support. I don't think there are. And I don't remember what I did with the other. There it is. Okay, the headlight buckets. I've got three of these as well. Between the two cars, I'm going to need four. We'll see how expensive they are. The other car may just get two new ones. But all the used stuff is going to go on this car. So, that'll save a bit of money putting this one together. If I decide to go through with it. I haven't even decided that yet. In my mind I'm saying yes, but that's going to be a lot more work. So, I'm just tinkering around with this one though. Like I said, we got that center section put in. We got the hood release put back on. This one I need to take the uh, lower splash shield off. I'm going to transfer that over just to keep it with the red support. And then uh, this one, I still got to pull the hood bumpers, but I don't know if I'm going to reuse them. They look pretty rough. Those may just get replaced. Get the stereo playing inside, so I'm probably going to get dinged for copyright infringement. Old George Jones singing in there. So, but yeah, I haven't recorded anything tearing this down. It's just pretty standard stuff. So, alrighty, let me get back to it. I should look into that lower tray that's rotted out on that good support and see what that is. Because I think, I don't remember if I have, I have to get a good picture of that other support and figure out everything I'm going to need for it. But that's kind of why I'm transferring these, all these good parts onto this good support. Just use it as reference. So, good stuff. I just have to find a place to stash it for a while. Probably back on the roof of this thing. I, mean, I could potentially throw it up on the frame for now. Just get it up and out of the way. But that's going to take up a lot of space up on the nose there. i got a lot of things piled up up there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, back to work. Ooh, progress update. Everything stripped off the old core support. Close up of all the crustiness. Just eating away. This one's not much better, but you can tell it's definitely not straight either. It's a dip there, but we can straighten that out. Put the proper piece back on the bottom. There's the center with the hood release and everything. Remember how that's supposed to work, but I think there's a T handle that comes out, ties into a piece back here. But put the headlight buckets back on, scavenge the trim pieces. This one's a little bit better than the other one. It's pretty crusty, but Pretty thick metal still, so got some holes there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to have to cut this piece off, grind the heads, and tap and drill. And I'm not even sure what that is. That might be the yeah, that is the battery tray. So, or what's left of it. But Oh, that's the thing. Put the horns back on. So, I think it'll just probably sit out here in the truck for a while. It doesn't need to go back inside. But, Siri, the nose of a 70 Cutlass. This one will eventually get cut up and thrown in the garbage can. 
scrap prices aren't even worth it to get a truckload together to go haul stuff in and with all the meth heads and the theft out there you can't even take a car part in without having the title and proof of ownership and yada 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 so I'm not going to go drag all my paperwork around just to get rid of a few parts it probably cost me more in gas just getting down there so thanks all you abu abusers of the system ruining it for everybody else so I'm going to go inside and sit down for a minute 524 I should probably get something to eat getting a little hungry but uh, that project is done so we'll bring you back here in a little bit Date time, 7.22 in the afternoon. We're uh, messing with the little truck again. So I uh, had a little scare. I dropped the dashboard and the steering wheel popped off. But I found it. That tub, that interior tub, seems to be nice and flat now. It's nice and square. I got the windshield in, gluing and drying for a little bit. We're going to get the rear window in next, and the interior tub should set in and help hold the glass in place. I just did a quick brush for the headliner. It should actually be like a gray color, but it's my truck and all I had was black. So, Pinto I haven't even looked at, but uh, we'll see what it needs. I know I've got some more decals for this Sonoma, but I don't know what I did with them. Not in that box. Oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, because we got some stuff to go on the tailgate and the side doors, and I got a I got a putty cat one to make an appearance. visit yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Still buddies. What should be expected? We're gonna figure out dietary changes for well all three of them. So alrighty. Turn the tunes back up. I'm gonna tinker along with this truck a little bit more and uh, see if we can make some progress on it. Let's see if we can button this thing up tonight. Or at least get really close. Ooh. 8.45. I'm going to have to kick this move. Let's start over. It's 8.45. I'm going to have to kick you all off this video here because uh, I need to get it edited and that takes some time. Uh, we make good progress on the little Jimmy. Jimmy, or little Jimmy, little GMC. A couple of screw ups, but uh, that glue on the back window. The radiator didn't go in quite straight. And I can't get this thing to sit down. I actually just had it gluing up. And I came out here and pulled the weights off and everything just went pop. So, she's not going together very good. A little disappointed in that. But we got lights in. Not a not an easy kit going together here, but anyway, there's kind of a rough shot of it. The front end needs to be sitting down a little bit. Things are tweaked on that chassis. But this glue I got takes a while to set up. So, there's the motor in. No ancillaries or no battery and whatnot. I got the interior in. Looks all right. No mirrors yet. I uh, kind of goofed. I should have put the decals on and then clear coated, but I didn't. So I'm going to leave the decals off. It's going to be a stripped down version. I'm going to try to figure out how to get that thing in too, because there's little tabs where the tailgate's supposed to ride, but there's little tabs on the tailgate too, so there's no holes for the tailgate to ride in. So I don't know what's going on there. It's just not going together real easy. So, I'm going to uh, continue this some other time. We didn't do anything with the Pinto, so we didn't finish the two kits I wanted to finish before the video series ended. 
but uh, oh well there's always well this weekend so I'm gonna just take a moment to say thank you to everybody out there that watched this whole little series uh, kept me occupied and motivated to get out and get some stuff done so it's been uh, doesn't feel like it's been a month today is the 30th day off so feels like it's been maybe a week and a half don't worry I'm not crying I just got crud in my eye so yeah so let's uh, tomorrow I can't talk right now tomorrow we will do a driving into work video we'll see how the traffic is I have to go in quite a bit later than I normally do couple hours at least which means I'll be getting off a couple hours later uh, we'll also do a video on the drive home tomorrow we'll do it all in one shot so and uh, yeah we'll uh, talk about how Boeing's doing and what things are going on and what the traffic's like and <coughs> how the people are reacting and, and something that goes in the garbage can yeah uh, I'm going to start shutting things down out here. <coughs> Probably tinker with that truck a little bit more tonight, but I'll try to do a follow-up when it's all done. Saturday looks like it's going to be wet, so I may be hanging out in the garage on Saturday. So again, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, thanks for following in on this kind of boring series other than we got a lot done. What did we get done? The garage is well, clean-ish. We got the car unburied. We got the rear end out. We got the chassis built up out of Kevin's place. I haven't touched that 350 yet, so I need to get back on that. Got the press over here. We fired up the Polaris. Washed the car. Mowed the grass a few times. I'm trying to think what else we did. We took a few little trips out and about. Not too crazy. Uh, yeah, found a whole bunch of parts, consolidated a lot of stuff, so yeah, it's been, uh, built that Jeep, working on this little truck, kind of disappointed, I was hoping it would go together easier, but older kit, things are warped, so I know we did some other stuff, just can't remember what it is now, so Again, thank you for following. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to try to make a concerted effort to just at least weekly get something up for you guys. No point in me going months on end without doing anything. So, you all stay safe, stay healthy, watch the crud out there, and uh, we will catch you in the next video. Maybe we'll start a whole other series of something. So, thanks again. Talk to you all later.